interesting. A spontaneous ride. Gonna see John now, ride over to him and just stroll around uh, the county a little bit to have some fun. I haven't been on the bike for such a long time. So Glenn's here, John's here, Silverback, and the beautiful Road, Cle Road King. Uh, we're going up to West Point area. Just a, a, a fun little ride, you know? Haven't been on the bike for a while. Beautiful weather. It's in the seven, 70s. So the last few weeks, as you guys know or don't know, what's this red light? What the hell is this red light? Anybody know? There's no escaping it. You can't. I had a red light. Not anymore. What? I had a red light. I don't know what it is. Well, I had a red light over here. I'm not sure what it is. It's gone now. If any one of you knows what that red light is, red circle, red light, let me know. Um, so, you guys, as you guys know, I work as an airline pilot. Now, the airline during this uh, past year with the pandemic, was going through a terrible, uh, you know, financial problems. It was uh, pretty much uh, almost went bankrupt. They had to bring in a new investor. It's a small airline, so there was a takeover. Uh, the airline was taken over by by a new investor. The all the pilots were home for you know on and off for almost a year. So. I was not working for a year and I was home spending time with family, friends, bikes, hobbies, but the pocket was starting to suffer. And uh, obviously I did a lot of uh, changes. Immediately I sold all, the, all my cars. I had an FJ Cruiser, I sold it. I sold one of my, my daughter's car. We stayed pretty much only with one with one uh, car, the the Rav4, cut all expenses, took uh, you know went through all my basement stuff, and uh, you know clean up one big cleanup, not, not garage sale. I don't think that we do garage sales over anymore. It was pretty much a. Uh, The heck is that? It's that red light again. See, it's that red light. Now it's gone. Anyway, uh, April. April, I got back. How you doing? April, I got back to you know full schedule, more or less. But there were a lot of changes being done. Uh, in the company so you know what the bank reserves I mean the reserves I had in the bank went all the way down to the red and I had to cut a lot of expenses that's why you didn't see me do all these upgrades and stage two and big bore kit and whatever you know you got to live uh, within your means so got finally got back to working now and um, my schedule is pretty much I do flights uh, back and forth uh, from Israel to to New York to uh, Newark New Jersey I do th three of these rounds uh, round trips a month so this is the time where I'm trying to do extra you know hours overtime if I can to fill up that bank again that bank account again uh, yeah that's about it so I I'm less time on the bike more in the airplane 
so I hope you guys actually enjoyed enjoyed uh, that that footage from uh, the flight if you do want to see a little bit more of that do me a favor please let me know because I, I you know this is a, a a channel dealing with you know motorcycles Harley and not really aviation but if you do want to see some aviation let me know so let's uh, they're all fill, filled up and uh, let's start the ride there was a topic that I wanted uh, you know to discuss I've seen uh, I've seen I missed of course uh, Laconia week uh, Mount Washington ride but I did watch all uh, the videos that John put out Cycle Fanatics and uh, Camilo Barber CVO and I actually noticed and it occurred to me that for relatively you know speaking a short ride or a short trip there were um, significant breakdowns okay John's new uh, big bore kit the new build which which was done beautifully by uh, JD Cycles day from JD Cycles um, it got messed up on him I mean it, it broke down pretty much the clutch uh, you know the whole uh, you know the whole story that John uh, told you so the clutch went he had to replace it and uh, a lot of concerns then another bike on the way uh, Nick's Nick's bike blew a, a gear the gearbox the third gear so he had to replace the, the whole gearbox now interesting thing both of those bikes they're not stock those are bikes that that were modified heavily I mean I think a stage 3 uh, the 128 uh, big bore kit and Nick's ha Nick has a 124 big bore kit I think and those you know those uh, modifications put out a lot of power a lot of power a lot of torque that 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 made me think you know made me think of uh, do I want to do any uh, upgrade that will let's say uh, impact the balance of the bike I mean when you, once you start once once you start with uh, one modification okay you make a bigger a bigger bore kit so you're getting more power delivered now you're getting more power delivered you need a bigger stronger sturdier clutch to handle the torque so you do that then if you're getting too much power how about the drive the belt is the belt gonna hold and how about so so pretty much one change one change affects other you know other parts uh, that while uh, Harley was planning the bike their engineers you know planned it to a certain for a certain uh, balance and once you start changing one item you're messing up the balance so of course you know every there, there's I'm sure there's uh, setups that are known to work better than others and that were tried out already but definitely in terms of reliability and dependability you know to, to be going on a ride you're depending on the bike and all of a sudden it dies on you on the highway I'm not sure you're really happy about that so uh, that perspective you know just another thought of uh, do I want to do do I want to spend the money and uh, start chasing that more power more torque more horsepower uh, performance the cost reliability and things like that so I don't know John said he's gonna do a, a little uh, review a little thought talking about that maybe he'll put that video out soon but anyway that seeing all those uh, those malfunctions those breakdowns made me you know think twice lake huge lake during the winter it all froze
there you go. Well, you guys keep asking me, what's that blinking yellow light? So in real life, it's not blinking, it's steady yellow. But because of the camera frame, frame rate, it seems like it's blinking. Anyway, that is the armed, armed position of the uh, cruise control. Now, I'll engage it. Now we see it's green, it's steady green. I'm not sure how you see it. I think you see it also blinking green. it we're here let me show you around that road yeah is like going up uh, Mount Washington. Washington but Mount Washington is more narrow and you're not getting into second and third gear <laughs> what first the whole time first and second yeah wow up, and down mostly first We'll get there eventually, right? Yep. Yeah, you see the Hudson. And people coming to enjoy. Perkins Lookout. A lot of bike riders coming over. See that couple came in with their uh, picnic basket, a glass of wine. Cool. Great weather. John and Glenn are doing a video now, a walk around showing uh, showing Glenn's bike. It's beautiful road king over there. And I'm like literally sitting over here, resting. Awesome. Thanks, great, great weather under this tree on Perkins uh, Lookout. It only takes money. Beautiful day. The scenery here is too good. The weather is amazing. We're just sitting here for like two hours now already, just enjoying the weather, yapping, talking. So we're not gonna go to uh, uh, we're not gonna go to West Point area. We're gonna go back home very soon. But it's amazing. Get to see people coming with their bikes. If you go to beautiful day, just beautiful day, chill. Heading downhill, there's a uh, there's some uh, pebbles over here and rock. Oh, this is the way out. Pretty much uh, the same way we came up. Uh, came up. Stay in low gear.
That was definitely a nice day out. <clears throat>
like a road crossing between two uh, reservoirs right here on the left and I don't know if you can see on the right you probably can't right there 